And hello to the Juice Guru Rewind, the Juice Guru Academy. And um, if you're making your way in, we're going to be uh, with you in just a few minutes here. We've got our guest, Gia George. He's here with us. Hi, Gia. Hi, how are you? Hi, where are you broadcasting from? Where are you, where are you uh, hanging out? I'm in San Diego. Oh, okay. I'm right here in Redondo Beach. So we're, we're neighbors almost. Oh, awesome. <laughs> And, uh, oh, yeah, I see some people in the academy are making their way in. Hey, I see Bob and Diane. Uh, hello, you guys. If you can hear us okay, go ahead and write in the chat box. Uh, test one, two, three. Can you say hello, Gia? Make sure hello, they hear Dad. us okay. Can you hear me? And I'm sure we'll have some more. I'm actually going to, yes, can hear you both. And, hey, Bob, great to see you. It's been a while. I'm going to go ahead and put this on Facebook, too. Gia, do you want to grab that bowl? Yeah, I'll be right back. All right, great. She is uh, going to go get a singing ball because she's going to show us some of her talents during the interview. It's going to be a lot of fun. And um, Diane, you you keep making these events, Diane, huh? I think we're broadcasting at good times for you because you're able to you're able to join us. Love it. And Bob, where have you been? <laughs> Bob's been missing in action for a while. And if you're watching on the replay, awesome. We've got some big announcements coming for uh, Juice Career Academy. Um, we're rebranding it, renaming it. It's going to be a whole kind of even improved program. We've been hinting at it in the Facebook page. Um, and I've got some details coming. I don't want to reveal it now. I'll be doing some webinars to let you know about it, though. And um, it's going to be 10 times better than what we've done. So if you like the Academy, you're going to love uh, the direction we're going in. Mm, great, Bob. And um, if either one of you guys, I don't know if anyone else is going to make it from the kind of, if you want to come on camera with us at the end, you're more than welcome. Um, so just, you can just type in right now, if you either one of you want to come on camera and ask a question at the end, we're talking about intuition, meditation, and things like that. Um... And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the community. I'm back. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to broadcast to Facebook now. Depends on what time I have. Oh, okay, Diane, got it. And Bob, I know you like to come on camera, but it's up to you. We can always take questions at the end um, by typing in. So I'm going to go ahead and open up to the Facebook community now and get ready to begin. Did you have your juice today, Stephen? No, I didn't yet. Gee, I, 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 I've been so busy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I and I a green smoothie and I feel amazing. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm going to probably whip one up right after this interview, actually. It'll be my lunch. And um, okay, we're coming to you in the uh, community right now on Facebook. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Prusak, and I've got Gia George here. Hi, everybody. And let me just, um, okay, good. It's working. And so if you're watching on Facebook, yes, you'll be able to type in your questions below. And if you're watching in the Juice Guru Academy, you'll be able, well, you're with us right now and you can type in your questions. If you're watching the replay, you'll be able to type them in below and I can always get them answered for you. Bob said, hi, Gia. And Diane said the same before. Hi, they're, everybody. They're in the community. And awesome. very excited. So um, we're going to get started with this interview. Where the uh, topic is um, your intuition as a key to freedom, peace, magic, and miracles. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're going to dive deep. And Gia is going to really uh, help us to develop our, our gifts, our spiritual gifts like intuition, uh, figure out why we suffer, and uh, really try to help us gain a sense of why we're here on this planet. You know, things like that. And then maybe we'll have a juice at the end. What do you think, Gia? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do the juice and a sound healing at the end. <laughs> uh, sound healing sounds good. And we'll talk about the benefits of sound healing. And Gia is going to bring us through a, um, a actual session. Is that right? What, what have you got there? Yeah, um, I just got my, my crystal singing bowl here. Have you seen one of these? I have. I, I, I've been wanting to learn how to play that. That's very, oh, yeah, I hear yeah. it. It's super easy to play, honestly. 
I don't know if is my mic picking it up well enough. Yeah. And how about you? Can you guys hear it in the Academy or on Facebook? Can you hear? We want to make sure you, we get a good session. If not, oh yeah, I feel it. I have good speakers though. I mean, I've got, I'm going through here. <laughs> I've got a good headphone, but, um, Can you hear that okay? Yeah, did you just like harmonize with yourself? That was... I did. I just sang with the bowl, and that's what I do. That's part of the sound healing I do. I can't wait. I, I know you guys out. are excited because I am. But well, that was beautiful. All right, that's it. The interview's over. That's all we needed. No, all right. <laughs> okay. We're, we're, we're going to uh, start now. Um, we're recording, and we're going to do the official interview, and let's begin now. This episode of Juice Guru Radio is brought to you by Try Best, making healthy living easy, and the Juice Guru Academy at JuiceGuruAcademy.com. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Juice Guru Radio. I'm your host, Steve Prusak. Today, we've got Gia George. She's a spiritual coach and sound healer, teaching about spiritual growth, healing your higher guidance, and energy healing. We're going to hear all about that and more. She's going to do some sessions for us, so grab yourself a juice, some tea, some water, whatever you need. We'll be back right after this with Gia George. Hello, and welcome back to Juice Crew Radio. I'm your host, Steve. We've got Gia George here. Like I said, spiritual coach and sound healer. She's, uh, she's going to tell us about how we can um, use intuition as a key to freedom, peace, magic, and miracles. It's going to be a lot of fun. Her website, divinelygia.com. We're having it up on our website, too, under the show notes for juicecrewradio.com. Let's welcome to the show right now, Gia George. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for having me. This is awesome. Well, hi, Gia. Thank you for beaming in and uh, joining us on this uh, edition of our show and, and joining us in the Academy. So some of our friends can ask some questions at the end. Uh, this is exciting. So can you tell us about your journey and how you um, got into spiritual coaching and your own, you know, healing? Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I knew I was really interested in the human body, my own health, my own spiritual growth since I was young. And um, I studied exercise science in college and found that I really wanted to go deeper than that. So I became a yoga teacher and um, that really opened up my awareness of spiritual energy, my soul, my higher guidance. And I still wanted to go deeper. So I've been studying and learning and reading about spirituality for a long time. And um, I started teaching meditation and I started a YouTube channel teaching meditation. But one thing that I always struggled with was feeling like I didn't really have control over a lot of things in my life or almost nothing in my life. And um, I just felt stuck a lot of the times and wanting to create things and not feeling like I could really step into what I wanted to manifest. And something that I've really worked on and that I've been gifted with recently is learning how to follow my intuition and how my intuition actually unlocks all of the progress, all the power, all the abundance that I want to create. And when I was using my ego to try to create the path and make things happen and manifest things, I would feel stuck. But when I relaxed and when I started following my higher guidance, my intuition, I found that miracles were just flowing to me and blessings started to come. And I'll give you an example. So about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I was making a living teaching private yoga. So I had some private clients. I had a corporate yoga client and I just thought, okay, this is like the best I can do. I'm, I'm making money and I'm, I'm teaching yoga. At least it's something I like. And um, one by one, those clients started falling away. And it was, I was starting to get scared. Like I was like, what is happening in my life? And as much as I wanted to control things and have a grip on things and make sure that I could keep my clients around, they were falling away. And I remember my last, my last corporate client, when they sat me down and told me we're cutting our yoga program, instead of feeling scared, a calm just washed over me. And I thought the universe has a plan. I don't know where I'm gonna make a living from. I don't know what's coming next, but the universe has a plan. So for some reason, a piece washed over me where I was able to actually sit back and listen instead of forcing, instead of trying, instead of controlling. And within a month, a company had found me online. They loved my meditation videos on YouTube. And they said, why don't you create meditation content for us? 
And I was like, okay. And they wanted to pay me really well. And within three months from that, they were paying me 5,000 a month to be their content creator and to go full time with them. And yet I still had tons of free time. I had uh, my creative abilities. I could kind of create whatever I wanted. And I just felt so supported. And so it was like when I stopped struggling and I let the universe guide me, I was actually given all that I could have dreamt of and more, all the abundance that I wanted and more. So that's kind of when I realized like, I'm not in the driver's seat. I'm on a journey where I'm kind of taking passenger seat and the universe is in the driver's seat. And if I just sit back and enjoy the ride, I'm actually going to receive way more. You know, if I try to step in the car I try to get in the driver's seat and make turns wherever I see fit, I'm going to struggle. And I see that as the heart of struggle is trying to take control where we don't have it. So if you can sit back, sit in the passenger seat, let go and let yourself be guided, you'll actually find your higher purpose, something that could be actually a mystery to you, something you never thought you were capable of doing, and a dream that is kind of deep in your heart that you may not have ever thought was possible, but there's a higher calling for all of us, and we're all gifted with our intuition to help guide us there. So I just see all these doors unlocking as we follow our guidance. So it's kind of like when you were in that situation, we can operate out of fear when it comes to losing a job and not sure where the money's going to come in to pay the bills. I mean, most of us would slip into a, a, a sense of fear and panic. How did you overcome that? Yeah, I would say I had always slipped into fear and panic as well. And it was like every single time I lost a client, I was afraid, I was afraid, I was afraid. And, um, you know, I can't explain why, but that day when I lost my last client, a piece washed over me. And I really think it was the act of surrender for me because I think our fear really comes from fighting against and resisting what is we're afraid when we are not allowing what is to be. So that resistance creates more fear. And when I just surrendered and I stopped resisting, I think that gave me the peace that I needed to carry me through till the next point in my journey. And I remember um, already some synchronistic things were happening, like um, a woman who I knew through an old band mate of mine needed rides to her doctor's appointments because she was anxious to drive and had a ton of doctor's appointments. And so she just offered to pay me 50 bucks cash to drive her to the doctor. And it turned out she needed that a ton of, a ton of days in this month where I got lost all my jobs. So it was like I was being provided for in small ways from the universe to kind of keep me afloat. So I started, I all, I, I started paying attention to what was working, where I was in the flow and where I was being supported and guided. And that helped me not feel so afraid as well. Like realizing that I am guided. I am on a course. I am following my intuition. Intuition. You know, it's something that we don't always follow. Uh, let's start with defining it. How do you define what is intuition? Yeah. So the way I see it is um, intuition is kind of our communication with our higher self, with our higher power. So um, some of us believe in angels and spirit guides. And if you don't, that's okay, because you are still connected to a higher energy. And so I see the intuition as just a way that we communicate with our higher self. And um, the way I understand it, intuition is our feelings. We are guided through our um, sense of feeling. So the intuition is what we feel, and it's usually in our heart or maybe in our belly. Um, we feel light, we feel open, we feel lifted when we're getting a yes from our intuition and we feel drained and down and scared when we're getting a no from our intuition. So I see it as just kind of our internal guidance system to help us on this journey because there is a way of going about this journey that is difficult, that is full of struggle, and that is kind of on an ego level. And then there's a way of enjoying this life journey that is from a higher place, that is guided by the intuition, and that's more light and free and full of magic. So what are the tools you teach on how to start following our intuition? Yeah, great question. Um, so I teach meditation, and one really important part of learning to hear your intuition is to start quieting your mind. So 
through meditation, we learn how to quiet our thoughts, quiet our anxious thoughts, come into um, a place of just come into the present moment, really, where we can start tapping into our intuition. So step one is kind of using meditation to quiet the mind. Step two is learning how to feel that internal guidance system, those feelings. So one question that I always ask is, does it resonate? And resonation is just, it's kind of an energy term. It's like when you heard me sing and do the, the singing bowl, those two notes were in harmony. They resonated. The vibration matched. So oh, no, no to those listening. We haven't done it yet, but it's to come. Stay tuned because Gia George is going to be doing a singing bowl uh, healing session with us. And she gave me a little preview before the interview. It's going to be phenomenal. A reason to stay tuned. Yes. So you'll hear what resonating is when I sing with the bull. It's this harmony of energy. It's this alignment and this match of vibration. So that happens in our bodies when our intuition is giving us a yes. It's this feeling of it resonates. It makes us feel safe. It makes us feel calm and open and even energized. So I have, you know, and when I'm teaching this, I have you kind of place your hand on your belly close your eyes and just feel in your gut. It's that gut instinct. Does your gut tell you yes? Does your gut tell you it's light, it's open, it's free? Or does your gut feel shut down and nervous and scared about it? So I think that's kind of the first step is learning how to feel what resonates because that's going to guide you to where your intuition is leading you. And it doesn't always make logical sense. It rarely makes logical sense. But the intuition is guiding us through feelings, through what resonates in our gut toward the next step on our journey. So how is it that intuition can bring us more freedom, peace, magic, and miracles into our everyday life? I mean, you touched on it, but, but how is it that that works? And what, what other things have you and some of your clients experienced? Well, you know, I really think that we're all meant to experience freedom, peace, magic, and miracles on this life journey. It's meant for all of us because we're all here for a higher purpose to live our highest destiny. And on that highest destiny, we are free. We are full of peace. We have magic and miracles. So the only thing preventing that is that we're not hearing our guidance and we're maybe forcing things or trying to control things. And if we do learn how to follow our intuition, all of that freedom is actually meant for us. We're actually living in a universe that is meant to be peaceful, that is meant to be joyful. So I just see it as um, it's kind of unlocking the path that is rightfully yours. We should all be living our highest, our highest destiny. And it's, it's meant for us. So, you know, I, I gave that example of um, when I stopped struggling and trying to control my career path, so many miracles were waiting for me. Another example was um, with music, with my sound healing. I never knew that I was meant to do music. I had this thing in my head. I'll be, you know, a yoga teacher. I'll be a personal trainer. I have control over this path. Let's all take these steps and then I'll be successful and abundant. And uh, after I graduated college, I felt inspired to be a mentor for a girl with a YMCA, just thinking, you know, that was just my intuition. My intuition guided me there, but I didn't know why. And um, lo and behold, her stepdad was a music producer and he heard me sing and he discovered me and said, wow, your voice is amazing and I want to make music with you. And I was just like, okay, I've never written a song before. <laughs> and um, he said, well, here's some beats of mine, take them home and try writing. And I had never written a song before. I had no idea what I was doing, but I brought them home and it's like it completely flowed from me effortlessly. I wrote like four songs and it was absolute magic. And I was like, okay, this is a miracle that I could not have expected. I couldn't have asked for this. And it was beyond what my concept of what my future was meant to be or my career was meant to be. But because I followed my intuition to be a mentor for that young girl, it exploded my universe into this new reality of possibility where suddenly I was aware of my higher path. My calling was to be a musician and to sing. So, you know, that's an example of how your intuition will guide you on this course to um, bring your calling forth, to bring your higher purpose forth. I think we all want to feel like we have a purpose in life. We all want to feel like we're using our gifts to make the world a better place and to share from our hearts. And so we can tap into that when we follow our intuition. 
you know, so much of the time we get stuck feeling like I have to do this job because I need this money or I have to take these steps or go to this school because my parents expected me to or something like that. But we all have this higher calling and it is what leads us to the greatest fulfillment. So our intuition is right there every step of the way to take us there. And when we stop struggling and fighting the flow, we find it. And it's, it's just amazing, like the kind of miracles that happen from there. I mean, are you following your intuition more than your logical brain? Because sometimes our intuition will tell us things that don't, that seem counterintuitive to, to the decision we might normally make. Absolutely. I find that intuition is often illogical. And that takes a ton of faith and a ton of courage. And I only know now that it's worth it to follow your intuition because I've seen these miracles come, you know, like I met my soulmate by following my intuition. Um, I was randomly, I felt the inspiration one day to buy a new amp and they said, call, you know, my intuition, they, (laughs) my, my higher self said, call Sam Ash music store right now and ask about an amp. My soulmate answered the phone (laughs) and I instantly felt connected to his voice and I felt drawn to go into the store that day. And that's the day we met. And it was just like, you know, that, that wouldn't have made logical sense to me how to find your soulmate. Oh, should I go on online dating? Should I go out to bars and try to meet guys? Like, no, my intuition guided me completely out of logic (laughs) into, you know, just the miracle. See it all as a miracle. So yeah, it's, it's, it takes practice to try to let, to have to let go of what logically seems sound and everything we're taught about how to follow goals and how to make stuff happen, how to be successful. So it's a ton of faith. I think it requires so much faith from us to start following our intuitive path. And you teach about suffering. Why is it that people suffer? Well, again, I think it goes back to um, struggling, like choosing to struggle against what is. I think usually when we're struggling, we are in a place where we feel like whatever's happening in our lives is not right. We shouldn't be here. This shouldn't be the way it is. And so we fight against it. And that causes a ton of suffering to feel like I have no control over this. And this is wrong. And it's the, it's the wrong thing. I'm in the wrong place. But that's only a perspective. I think that's a very, um, that's actually an illusion. And by following our intuition, we can kind of shatter that illusion to realize everything that is, is actually helping you. Everything in your life is actually guiding you to see more clearly the path that is before you. And I think some suffering is necessary. We do have to suffer in order to learn, in order to grow, in order to expand, because suffering shows us where we're afraid and suffering shows us where we need to heal and to open and to trust more. So it's part of the path. Suffering's not wrong. It's just that suffering can easily be a doorway back into peace and freedom if we treat it that way. If we learn to allow suffering to be our teacher and to show us where we can open, where we can forgive, you know, depending on what the suffering's from, but to accept what is as what is, is your higher guidance helping you and showing you the path. And when students ask you, why are we here? (laughs) I know you like to break that down. What, What is our reason for being here on this planet? Well, I believe that we're all um, here to help raise the consciousness of, of humankind and of, you know, the universe. We're all here to help each other evolve and to raise our awareness. And so we're each here with a gift. We each have a special gift. Like for me, I believe it's my voice and um, sharing through sound and through teaching and for you, you know, it's, it's helping people discover health through juice and by spreading awareness. And for other people, it's healing animals. And we all have a gift that we're, we're here to um, embody. And so I think that's such an important thing in, in helping raise the consciousness of the planet and helping to create world peace. We're all here with a gift. So I think... We all, we come here and we think, oh, I got to make money so that I can survive, so that I can have kids, so that I can kind of play this role that I'm used to seeing in the movies and um, just be this kind of normal person. Um, 
but I think there's a deeper and higher path for everybody. There's a higher calling for everybody. And that higher calling is what's going to unlock the miracles and the magic that you wish to see, the inner peace that you wish to have. So I believe we're all here to just figure out what that calling is for us. We're all here for a reason, but it's a very unique reason and it's a very unique path. And by being completely who we are, completely aligned with our highest destiny, we're helping to heal everyone. We're helping to empower everyone on their path. So by me being completely aligned with my highest vision, I'm helping you and you're helping me. And we're helping everyone listening to align with their highest path as well. And when we've all come to our highest evolution, to our highest purpose, then I don't see war. I don't see fighting. I don't see struggle and um, violence. You know, I see peace for everybody and I see light and love and healing for everybody. Well, that's the problem when we look at some of the recent shootings and terrorist attacks and things that are happening right here in this country in an unprecedented way, mass shootings. It's it's horrifying. How do we deal with that? I mean, it definitely puts people in a state of fear of even being out in public and going to a festival and and not knowing that something horrendous could happen at that point. How do we, you know, it's like the calm of the storm. You know, how do we stay focused in the calm of the storm kind of thing? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because... Um, that really, you know, especially the Las Vegas shooting really hit me hard. And uh, as somebody who is, I am really positive. I am really full of hope. Um, it's not like those kind of things go without touching me. I was completely floored by that um, more than some of the other tra- tragedies, but all of them I'm affected by. But the way I see it is, you know, I turn that all into more faith that this is a part of the plan. And so I trust that those souls came into this life knowing when they would leave. And even though it seems horrible, it seems horrifying, it seems like an absolute accident that could not be a part of the plan, I see it as something that's helping to release a lot of the darkness from our earth realm. And we don't, it doesn't make sense. Again, it doesn't make logical sense to us in our human lives why we would need violence to create peace. But I see it as, you know, a part of the higher plan to release a lot of the darkness, a lot of the the shadow in our consciousness by um, by seeing these things unfold. You know, I believe these souls volunteered to come these lives and to be a part of these tragedies in order to kind of heal some of that darkness that was in our subconscious that we didn't even realize was there. Because in order to heal something, we need to feel it. We need to know it's there. It needs to be expressed and released. And so unfortunately in our human minds, that means tragedy, that means violence, that means suffering. But if we can hold ourselves and all beings in the most love and light and grace through these processes, again, we quickly turn that suffering around into more growth, into more healing. So I chose, and it took a lot of strength, I chose to let this Las Vegas shooting mean more faith for me. I have more faith in the divine. I have more faith in all of our higher purpose and our path and that we're being guided every step because I simply choose to live in that universe. And when I did, when I stepped into that light, I helped other people around me also lift up. So I think um, as much as you can, let yourself feel the pain knowing that you're healing the pain that you're feeling. Let yourself be completely... um, you know, let yourself channel whatever pain needs to come through you. And the more you open up to it, the more you release it. And you return to feeling like we're all here for a purpose. We're all, it's all according to plan. So I think we have to, we do have to let ourselves feel it. And then again, focus on positivity, focus on faith, focus on helping others. Stay in the light. And I know you've got a healing for us right now. You've got your, uh, what do you have over there? For those listening on the radio, Gia's got yeah. her. This is a crystal singing bowl. So it's mm-hmm. made of quartz crystal. Um, I believe the original singing bowls were Tibetan and they're made out of brass. So they have a bit of a different tone since they're metal. But this one is a, a precious gem. So this one's quartz crystal. They also make them out of diamond, platinum, rose quartz, all kinds of different gems. So um, 
I'm a singer and I do some toning with it and singing with my singing bowl and I harmonize. Again, you'll hear that energy, that beautiful resonation. Are you ready for a little sample? Yeah, this is going to be amazing. So um, just if you're driving, maybe you want to pull to the side of the road right now. <laughs> <laughs> but what, yeah, can, what so, can we accomplish in this healing, this, this little, little demo that you're going to give us? Yeah, great, great idea. Um, if you're not driving, go ahead and close your eyes. Um, if you are driving, that's okay. Just start taking some deep breaths and uh, let your body just relax and just be present with this moment. One breath at a time. That's... Really all we can do in this life is just live one breath at a time. So as you listen to the sound of this bowl and my voice, you can just imagine the sound waves kind of washing through you, kind of washing through your mind and clearing out any worries or negative thoughts and washing through your body and just clearing away any tension, clearing away any stuck energy in you, letting yourself Kind of raise your vibration with the sound of this bowl. Rise up in your perspective to see with more love and see with more light and clarity, hope, and peace. And if you have any particular intention you want to set right now, like maybe you're working on um, forgiving someone or you're, you're working on a new project or you want to inspire yourself today, set your intention now and breathe it in. That was beautiful. How do we, how, and you know, we're, we're listening through, you know, we don't have the high tech uh, frequencies for people to really get that sound delivered here. Um, but, but we definitely get a taste of it. How did you guys feel about that in the Academy? Can you, are you uh, feeling that? Go ahead and type in, uh, I'll see your message, but that was beautiful. Yeah. That's clearly your gift. Thank you. <laughs> Thank and, you getting back to the interview here. Um, so where do you see it going for you? What's your message? And I know you've got a Kickstarter campaign. Um, Bob says, uh, that was beautiful. I'll buy the album. I know you have a Kickstarter <laughs> awesome. campaign up at kickstarter.com forward slash profile forward slash Gia. We'll have a link under the show notes at juicegrewradio.com for that. What have you got going on now? Yeah, well, I'm glad that you, you brought that up. I And thank you, Bob, for um, <laughs> mentioning that you'll buy the album because I am creating it now and I have a Kickstarter. Um, it's live now until November 21st. And I'm just raising money to um, create this album. It's going to be singing bowl, voice, harmonium, which is an Indian instrument, um, chimes, maybe some harp. And it's just going to be beautiful sound healing chants. You can sing along, you can meditate, you can do yoga to them, you can go for walks with this album. So um, if anybody feels called to support that album, check out um, kickstarter.com forward slash profile forward slash Gia, or just check out the show notes um, for, at juiceguru, right? .com. Yeah, juicegururadio.com under the show notes with Gia George, and we'll have the link for you there too. Yeah. And um, and. Great. So as we close out, Gia, anything to say in closing or intuition? And I am going to, you know, once we close out the radio part, if you're in the academy, you can type in your questions or even join us on video if you want 
that's a perk for being part of the Juice Crew Academy, and we'd love to see your face. But um, anything to say in closing, any final words of advice for those listening on the radio? Absolutely. Um, I want you guys to all know that you are right on time. And uh, there are no mistakes. You have not done anything wrong. All of your choices have been a lesson or a blessing. And uh, there is so much support and guidance for you. Just waiting for you to listen to what resonates, listen to your heart. And there there are amazing miracles on their way to you right now. So take a breath, follow your heart, and get ready to receive. Gia George. Again, the website, divinelygia.com. Thank you for being here, Gia. Thank you for all the work you're doing and, and, Absolutely. and all the best. I'm Steve Prusak, and we'll see you next time. Unless you're in the Academy. Any questions over there, guys? Or if you're uh, typing on Facebook, let me just take a look and refresh that. There were some people um, on Facebook, too. Oh, a comment from Diane. That was beautiful. Calming my dog's ears perked up, and he was listening, too. <laughs> that's awesome that's what she yeah, yeah that's what she was getting at like i um i will do sound healing in my yoga classes where or in my private yoga lessons where people have dogs and stuff and as soon as i play the bowl the dog's like on the ground just so <laughs> chill <laughs> yeah you definitely have a gift and bob said what an amazing presentation of course and thank you uh, for being here i guess everyone no one's going to come on camera with us and that's okay too um but i think we're going to go ahead and close out let everyone get back to their wonderful day in the light. Thank you for shining your light, Gia, and all the amazing work you're doing. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Thank you all for being here, and we'll see you in the next session.